Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a back to school essentials. Now this doesn't have to be necessarily for back to high school or back to college. I am going back to college, so it might be more geared toward that, but I also think it should be for back to work, back to life. My just essentials that I think you need to have. Some of them will be for more back to school, but I also think it's like more lifestyle kind of things, like for weather, for different things like that, but if you are going to high school for the first time or going to college for the first time, I did try to gear it more toward that. So it's kind of all over the place as far as like tips and tricks with like fashion and for weather and for, you know, it's not really like makeup and stuff. I might try to do like a makeup bag that you want to have or, you know, what to pack in your school bag and stuff like that. If you are interested in that, let me know. Um, but this is kind of everything in one, just everything that I think you should have. So let's get started. Basically, for weather. Obviously, this is going to be different for everybody, but if you live someplace where you have all four seasons, and I do, you need to be prepared. And, you know, if you're in high school, then you're not really going to need the first thing that I'm going to say, but if you're going to college, I say you definitely need rain boots. Um, I have these ones right here. They are by the brand Rampage, I believe. I never realized how much wear I would get out of these, but last year it rained so much and I wore them nonstop. You need to be prepared. Like wearing flip-flops and you, you get know. mud and water all over the back of your pants, all up your leg. It's just gross. And you can't, some flats don't have a real bottom and you don't wear sneakers all the time. You need rain boots. And you can get fun color ones, whatever, but black goes with everything. And you can get really nice hunter boots, whatever, but those are about $50, I think, at Macy's. So... I would invest in some rain boots. Along with that, get a decent umbrella. You can get ones that fit, you know, the little tote ones that collapse and fit into your purse. But those don't always withstand the weather. Um, I had one of those and it literally like blew up into the wind. So uh, if you have, depending on how far you have to walk, like some parking lots in my school are pretty far. So you, I would, take a sturdy umbrella and I always leave it in my car so this is also for work too like just leave an umbrella in your car so that way when you're at your destination and you might need one and it starts raining you'll have it and just don't forget it in your class or wherever you are I always do that whenever I take an umbrella I leave it in one of my classes so don't forget then you need some Uggs look what happened to mine um I don't know does this happen to people's this never happened to mine but last winter this happened so again we have some snow a lot of snow so you need boots any kind of boots you don't need Uggs necessarily but I live in mine so you need boots oh also I forgot earmuffs to go along with the Uggs these are my Ugg earmuffs again these like save my life um I feel ridiculous wearing them right now in summer again the walk from my car to my campus was pretty far I could have parked in a closer one but everybody parks there so you gotta stay warm and you need you know it depends where you live obviously if this is not relevant to you then I'm sorry but for people that deal with snow get some gloves keep gloves and that kind of stuff in your car and that for you um if you're in high school maybe you walk from your house to the bus stop or something. Keep it in your school bag. To go along with the boots, you gotta have skinny jeans, I feel. If that's not a staple in your wardrobe yet, definitely get them. Because boot cut jeans just don't fit into Uggs, I feel. They just, I don't know, they just don't. So get skinny jeans, jeggings, they've become my new obsession. So you're gonna want those. cardigans. I got these two new cardigans from H&M and they're adorable and they have these little patches on the side 
So they're not just like, like they look like regular cardigans or whatever, but they give a little something extra and you know, it can get cold in classes or whatever. So, and then I have this striped one. And again, this one has this little patch on the side. So I think these are adorable. So I would definitely invest in a cute little cardigan. They're like the best thing ever. You gotta have cardigans, different colors, different everything. They can just be your pop of color to an outfit or get solid color ones and then put a pop of color underneath an outfit. This is a big one. Practice a quick and simple makeup routine that you're happy with. Now, I don't mean like go on here and, you know, search for people's five minute tips that have full fledged, you know, eyeshadow and eyeliner, mascara, and they get it done in five minutes. I know if I'm doing eyeshadow and mascara and stuff, I'm not getting it done in five minutes. So I'm happy with curling my eyelashes, putting on concealer, and a tinted lip balm and that's it I'm done I'm happy with that if I'm in such a rush where I cannot do any other makeup as long as I've washed my face moisturized and everything I just need to put concealer on curl my eyelashes and put some lip balm on so practice it so you know that you've mastered it and it looks right but do something that you like if there is one eyeshadow that you can just put on, whatever, good, then that's great. Or do look on, there's so many people that have the five minute or 10 minute and under, you know, makeup tutorials. Find something that you like because you are gonna be running late. You won't have time to shower. Just find something that you're happy with and you're probably gonna wear your sweats and a messy bun to school. So you want your face to look at least a little presentable. get cute sweatpants victoria's secret pink are my obsession i have so many pairs it's crazy because like i've said before you are going to wear sweatpants in college literally kids will roll out of bed in the pajamas they're wearing it's gross but they really will so invest in cute sweatpants that don't look necessarily like pajamas but you're comfortable in and they look cute and you do that five minute makeup on the days that you just don't feel like being there and for those early morning classes you know get a little change purse this is Vera Bradley but something small you don't need a huge wallet with you for your bag um, it's gonna weigh you down and you don't need every credit card you own um, every like, I know I have my Beauty Insider thing, but you don't need your Sephora card, you don't need your CVS card, everything like that, unless you know you're going there after class or something, but you don't need to take all that with you uh, to class. So take all that out, take, get a small card case or something like this where you can put your cards, your ID, your school ID maybe, your license, and some money, some change, something like that. Um, and you can put your keys on the end of this if you want. So I would get something like this to have with you. Fun pens and a nice pencil case. This is also Vera Bradley. I used to have an obsession. And this is nice because it's lined, so if anything leaks or whatever. But I have colored pens galore because you want to keep your interest in taking notes and not that I ever fell asleep but you don't want to fall asleep in class whether it's high school college whatever you will see kids fall asleep in college I guarantee so there's no rules or anything in college I mean when you hand in papers and essays and stuff high school college some has to be in pen some has to be in pencil whatever but when you're taking your own notes you can do whatever you want so get fun notebooks fun pens and pencils to write with to spark your interest but also keep extra pens and pencils that you don't care about because definitely in high school but also in college there's always going to be a kid that you either feel bad for or that needs a pen or pencil that you can give to them and they will not give back so keep some extras in there that you do not care about pack a snack and some ones 
don't, so in your little change purse, don't always have like big bills. Pack some quarters and ones. There's going to be vending machines at school if you go to college, but you don't always want to use them. If you need a drink or whatever, or you have a lot of classes one day and you didn't bring anything, that way you'll have that and you won't have to borrow from anybody or whatever. You won't have to starve, but pack a snack if you can, a granola bar, some gummies, some whatever. Like I went through a phase where I just bought a pop tart and a water like all the time. Don't do that. So pack something healthy or, or you know, fruit, whatever. So you can keep yourself stimulated and ready throughout the day to hold you over for lunch or dinner, whatever time you may have class. I can go for high school too if they let you eat during class. I don't know. Depends. Some kids you could have lunch really early in the morning, like 10 o'clock is when we started having lunch periods, and you could have lunch as late as like after 1, I think. So that's bad, but you want to time out when you're going to eat. If you can, plan your outfits the night before. I did that for like the first two weeks, one semester. And it helped so much save on time because that's my biggest thing. I will rip everything out of my closet and I will have like an extra 15 minutes. I'll be like, oh, I'm going to be on time today. And then I'll be running 10 minutes late because it was about what I was wearing. So if you can find out what the weather is going to be like the night before and then find out what you're going to wear, that's the biggest thing. At least put some idea of what you're going to wear together. Try it. Um, it could save you a lot of time. And some high school tips. I would say definitely go to your school before it opens and see where your classes are, see where your locker is. Um, there's definitely got to be freshman orientation for everybody, but even if it, you're not a freshman or a sophomore, you might not have seen where every single locker is or every single like wing in your hallways are. So find where your locker is, find where your classes are. It'll make life so much easier on your first day, a lot less pressure off you. And don't bring everything the first day. I did that as a freshman. I brought every single thing that was on the supply list the first day. It's not necessary. Even if you're not a freshman in high school, a freshman in college, whatever, don't bring everything because even in college, the first thing you do, unless there was an assignment that was posted, you just go over a syllabus. You just go over the outline for what you're going to do. Um, so college, high school, anything, the first day is just an introduction to what you're going to do. So bring paper, pen, notebook, folder, because you're going to get a lot of handouts. You're going to get a lot of, you know, papers, whatever, and you might have to write some notes down. But... You don't bring everything because you might not even get a chance to go to your locker in high school. So, Or you can go to your locker before classes even start. Maybe put that stuff in there before. And I would bring tissues too because college does not have tissues and high school rarely has tissues. So. so I hope this helped and I hope it wasn't too all over the place and you listen to me talk a lot. <laughs> so I'll definitely do like a makeup bag or a back to school bag once I figure mine out. I might do a what's in my bag regular purse before that because I'll have to transfer stuff. So I hope you like this and thanks for watching. Bye.